All right, we are now joined by the freshman Nate Herbster. Big performance here today. You had four goals in the regular season finale, and you contribute in a big way again offensively today. It really seems like over the past week or so, you've taken your game to a different level. How have you grown throughout your time here as a freshman? Uh, I think it just it just comes a lot from uh, wanting to get back on the field. Um, I had been dealing with some injuries uh, with my legs before, and then I just started to feel a little bit more healthy this past couple mon this month, and uh, I just felt ready to get back to it. And the guys they uh, brought me back here and uh, gave me the energy to and the confidence also to just play my game. So, uh, so certainly postseason, you want your entire team to be playing at its highest level. Everyone wants to peak at the right time. Do you feel like your team, at least with today's performance, has done so? Uh, I, I would say not yet, not yet. I think we have a long way to go still. Uh, we have uh, great team chemistry right now, but I think if we just clean up some uh, minor mistakes and, uh, yeah, if we just clean those up, I think we'll be playing at our top level. Now, I know that you had mentioned you had been dealing with some injuries in the beginning of the year, and, and for you being a freshman, I mean, what was that like coming in your first year of college across and you're kind of hampered by injuries and you can't get into a, a good groove and a good rhythm early on? Uh, I think it was definitely frustrating um, just to see everybody out in the field uh, sitting on the sidelines, seeing everybody kind of clicking and uh, just love, loving the time that they're having together. Um, but the guys were super supportive, like I said before. Um, my roommate, um, all of my freshman guys uh, helped me through that. So, yeah, I just I give it to them for getting me back on the field. Well, speaking of that adjustment, I'm sure, you know, college across, high school across, very, very different. What were some of those first few big adjustments you had to get used to when you started to get into more of a rhythm playing? Uh, I think first and foremost, just the speed of the game. Uh, everything came a lot quicker. Uh, the slides, the, the one and two slides are always there after you dodge, so you kind of have to adjust to that and also just the physicality of it. Um, the guys are, you know, two times the size of the guys you're playing in uh, high school, so just uh, getting tougher and, and having more mental toughness when it comes to, you know, getting hit. So Eight goals over your last two games. Obviously, you said that a lot of your teammates supported you, especially when you were sidelined, but who have you really developed chemistry with on the field that has allowed you to have this success? Uh, I would say probably my roommate Carter Green uh, from the jump. We've always had uh, great chemistry. Uh, we spend nearly every day together, walking to class, uh, going to eat together. So uh, I would say probably probably Carter. Now, does he ever tell you about his uh, high school football days, winning a state championship as a quarterback? Uh, he do he doesn't talk about that too much. A lot of the other guys bring it up, but he's pretty humble about it. So. You don't know who you're playing yet on Saturday, but you know it's either going to be Mercyhurst or Lake Erie. So regardless of the opponent, you're going to be at home with a chance to win the championship. What will be the biggest key? Uh, I think just pl sticking to our game um, and just yeah, staying, uh, making sure we're doing the basics and keeping everything simple. Well, uh, keeping it simple has worked for you. Another four-goal performance, Nate. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks Appreciate for joining, it. Nate. Nate Herbster, freshman for Seton Hill.